guys, Spike Monk here. Smoking some Peterson High Park in my Misery Mission Corn Cop Pipe. Really nice blend. If you want to explore what Lakeland aroma, essence, whatever you want to call it, germanium uh, uh, extract based blends, I think you should go for uh, Peterson High Park. It's not that strong. The blend is mellow because it's lots of Virginias tends to smoke a little hot so sip it slow you will really enjoy it I really enjoy it and I think uh, you will enjoy it as well today there's a very special Yago yeah. uh, this box came in from Missouri hint hint so came from Missouri Mission Company and in the end, we have a limited edition uh, Scott Markwood Coffoolery.com contest, 2014 contest. And the winner was Chris Morgan. He won the contest for the design. And then um, uh, I think both Scott and Chris um, decided to go to the company and get the pipe made so we all can have it. So without further ado, Let's open it up. My trusty kitchen knife. And here it is. So, as we are opening it, only 250 uh, pipes were made. 200 were through pre order, and 50 were given to smokingpipes.com. Um, well, they are the biggest vendor in the US for pipes and tobacco right now. So, oh, one one thing more. Scott is uh, still doing some contests on his website, aristocop.com and copfoolery.com. Check out his videos. I'll link his channel below in the description. Uh, you still might get a chance to purchase this pipe if you hurry it up. Okay, so it comes, this pipe comes with the certificate of authenticity authenticity sorry um, and it's signed by Phil Morgan general manager of Missouri Museum as we all know so it states that this document certifies that the enclosed pipe is number 59 of the Missouri Museum 2015 limited edition reverse calabash concom pipe this pipe was designed in 2013 so not 2014 but 2013 by Chris Morgan for a design contest called cop Fury. St sponsored by Scott Markwood of Aristocop.com. The pipe was produced at the Missouri Mission Company factory located on the banks of the Missouri River in Washington, Missouri. It is made from corn grown on the company's farm in the Missouri River bottoms. So it also has another, um, uh, seems to have another page in it. Let's open it up. Yeah. I'm gonna tease you a little bit more. So, oh, it's uh, here are the special use instructions for the cob and the reverse calabash combo. So, it has the instructions on how to take care of this pipe, especially, and other con cobs. A really nice, comes with the certificate. That's a really nice gesture. Uh, what else do we have in the package? Uh, the invoice. Invoice in my name, number 59. And now we have one thing I want to say. <laughs> one more thing I want to say is that really, I really liked uh, the packaging. This is one of the best packaged pipes I've received in the last year. I've been into pipe smoking. So here it is. It doesn't come with a pipe uh, pouch or anything. Oops, gave you a little bit of a preview. So here it is. The amber bit. The RC chamber. And the cherrywood style bowl. Quite a nice one. It actually is more beautiful than it's shown in the pictures. Wow. This is nice. Let's put the box away and see. 
how it is. Um, chamber is around one and a half per pull, 1.75 inches. And really, this is a little bit of a hefty pipe, but uh, yeah, you can't clench it, you have to hold it quite heavy. But the quality is diamond grade, it's highest grade quality of Ron Bob. The artistry and the manufacturing, engineering, everything is flawless. You can see the familiar stem provision in the chamber. So it's it's a it's called a cop vasp by Scott and Chris, but it's a cherry wood with a reverse calabash and the wasp shape. Reminds me of the bee shape by Misha, but this is a nice pipe. I ordered the black version. It also came in the, in the, in the lighter version. And then it came in the mixed version where you had the black reverse chamber and then a natural looking uh, main bowl. But yeah, here it is guys, uh, the Missouri Museum, the limited edition. Mine is number 59. Let's christen uh, the pipe with some flying Dutchman. This is primarily going to be my Virginia pipe. Superb. I can actually appreciate the cool smoke and the taste of the Black Flying Dutchman. Thanks anyways guys, uh, this is a really good pipe which I am sure will remain in my rotation for a long time and hopefully I am able to get a few other, uh, you know, if uh, you guys uh, decide to do a run again. Really nice. <laughs> Can't really hold it, clench it with the teeth. It's quite hefty, but it feels really good to feel it in your hands. What I was thinking today in, in the office was, why not a prior version of the, of the, of the pipe? It would be really nice. Anyways, off to the next segment. I hope you enjoyed the video. Hey, before I go, sorry. I wanted to thank to all the people who were involved in the production of this pipe. Uh, starting from Chris, who actually initially designed it. To Scott, who held the contest. To Phil, who actually worked uh, with the people uh, in the process to make it happen to Marilyn uh, you are a very helpful um, lady uh, and I, it's a, always a pleasure writing to you and getting replies from you so just to thank thanks to everyone uh, who made this happen and uh, congratulations to all the 250 people who um, got one or more of these and uh, uh, I look. I'm looking forward to actually seeing lots of people in the community posting the pictures with the pipe. Mine is number 59, and I hope um, every one of you are enjoying their pipes. Till then, see ya.